Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. We're surrounded. Look, and there's Lisa. I am in Texas visiting my Texas family. And we, oh hi. We hit the mother load. So much stuff. I, I'm not bragging. $148 worth of stuff that it has to be in two holes. So what I've done is I've separated all the craft stuff. So I'm gonna say this is the one half non-craft stuff. I do have holiday stuff and lots of other stuff that I will show you. So let's get to it really quickly. First, real quick, I'd like to show you some electronic thingies. Um, you know, Jim got a new iWatch. Um, I, I was so happy to see that they had silicone cases. The problem was I'm blonde and I picked up the wrong size. So he actually needed a 38 and I picked up the 42 in the watch band and the face cover, but they did have 38. The funniest thing was I moved all the 38s to get to the 42s. Lisa needed a phone charger. And this is a really, is this like a new kind of? Yeah, it's the C. Oh yes, USB-C or whatever, yes. okay. Um, and it's for her Galaxy S10. Yes. So you guys know that I am a, we're iPhone people, but you know, to each their own. And I had the one more thing, the doggy. Oh, here he is. I finally broke down and bought one of these. If you've not seen them before, they're screen cleaners and they look like little, like animals. This one is like a little bear and they have like a little dog as well. And I heard that they were really good. Plus they're really cute. Plus you can stick your phone in there if you want to, but I don't. So that's the other thing that I picked up. That's electronics. They had new wall clings. Is this not me? I'm telling you, it's me. It says, always be joyful. And what I love about it is not the standard, just black letters. Do you see how they're, they're like, they're almost like yellow kind of gold letters with black outlining. And of course we get plenty of our little like laurel leaves and the font is gorgeous. And I absolutely love the saying. 100% love the saying. So I picked up three of those because of course they'll be for DIY. So if you see them, grab them. And then this was new to me too. Love grows here, amazing. It looks like this when you put it together like that. And I just realized I never showed you this one. So I picked up two of the love grows here and three of the- jo The third leg is like right on the very edge of the bed. Just whoa, whoa. I'm just saying. <laughs> She's, it's actually like from where you're sitting, but from where I'm sitting, it looks like there's that. Oh, okay. so Lisa picked this out. She loves it. You guys know elephants are good luck. They're good luck elephants. Um, if you put their hind end towards the door, the front door, like they'll walk the money in your house. So it's like good fortune to have elephants. And she needs that, she said. <laughs> she just gave me a big thumbs up. <laughs> and, but this one is just super cute. And he's got this pretty like... He is, oh, so yeah, so it's a box art. I have pictures that I took, a little video of this whole different shelf system, like a teenage thing that I've not seen anybody mention before. Um, and this was on that, um, but they're so cute. It's almost like, do you see him? He's like little lacy mandala type thing. And it actually says, simply, simplify your life. And I just thought they were so cute. But it was like three times in one day, elephants came up and we were like, oh God, get that. I picked up more of my wipes. You know, last three times I went to Dollar Tree by me, they haven't had any. So I picked up four of these while I was here. I was the most excited person ever to see that mom, I would say my Dollar Tree, but that's not true because it's Lisa's Dollar Tree, had the gold metal wire baskets. Now I think that they came in chrome and gold or I feel like they did, but I don't, they only had gold here. I got four of the tray, letter trays and then two of these sort of round baskets that are kind of square on the bottom, which is kind of cool. And I just thought they were so cute. I really do want to spray paint them black to be like wrought iron because I'm weird that way, but that's what I want to do with those. And then I just found, remember there's two more electronic things. I heard good things about these. They, you can leave them. Oh, I was gonna say, they go with the travel. They're actually with the travel section, not the electronic section. And they're like the wire wranglers. So you see what they do? They basically pop open. No, and you could stick like your 
wire around there and the silicone kind of grabs onto the wire and then this way you can just throw them in whether they're headphones or a charger like the picture back here is headphones and the front here is the charger so i got me a red one and jimmy a green one because we both love red as a frame for color but i shopped he didn't <laughs> they had the anti-bullying gum i was so excited they had fruit uh fairy tale fruit gourmet gum and it has a little cute little rainbow unicorn on it and again i mentioned this if you watched the dollar general haul the other day that this is all proceeds go to the anti-bullying campaign which i think is such a big deal um you know i looked like this since birth not quite this size obviously i grew but i was picked on relentlessly and we were very poor and bullies like not believe my parents were just awesome with like teaching me not to put your value in what other people's thoughts were but kids nowadays are on a totally different level so i really think that's so important i picked up this really cute card that says hocus pocus and it might be for friend mail and then inside it says hope your halloween is magical but look how cute she is with her glasses she's a nerd and there's like a 3d cauldron on there she might look like Hermione, but Hermione doesn't wear glasses. There's no words. It doesn't need to be. I don't need to say anything. So I won't. But when I first, first started YouTube, or right before I started YouTube, there was a great channel. Her name was the Your Couponing Gal, or... I don't remember. I'll put her link in the description box. She made the cutest little things with her cricket. She put in like a little elf stuffed animal and a little coffee mug, I think, that she put a cricket print on there. And she put it in here and it was just adorable. So I just thought like, oh, that's cute. But then we have this other one. Do we know why we got this? Nope. Okay. Maybe Jackson, Jackson <laughs> was shopping he for was his birthday. You with your buggy, so. He was. Um, Emily's middle child who had his birthday we're talking about. Um, he was helping me shop so apparently he picked out this but honestly i think i'm going to give this to him because they have three boys in their family and this would be super cute and it's got trees on the outside it really is just super cute still candy in there okay so i have more christmas stuff and there's halloween stuff but i want to really really say thank you to to i'm gonna i hope i say her name right audrea who was the best cashier I've ever seen. She actually really packed things really well so I can get the least amount of bags, but of course, like different seasons and different things. Plus Lisa just dumped everything on the bed. So. Um, I'm <laughs> she is repacking. Um, but I found these tags and I was so excited. You know, I grabbed up a whole bunch of tags at the Dollar General, but I found them from the Dollar Tree, which I was super excited. This one says peace and then it says love and joy, but peace is in glitter. They're really cute. And um, it has a snowman and he's like got a little top hat and he's festive. And then that same festive snowman ooh, <laughs> is on here and it says holiday cheers and cheers. Oh, cheer, singular cheer? Oh yeah, the way the tail is coming up, I thought it was an S. It says holiday cheer and the cheer is in red glitter. And this one, he's the cutest one ever. And it says hello winter and he's like looking up, he's got no hat. He's so cute and hello is in glitter. Um, but, you know, you can DIY these. I just love them. I think they would make really cute for, like, a package. So the back is completely blank. You could decoupage paper on here and do to and from. You could just to and from on here. Take your white chalk marker or your black Sharpie and just add, like, whatever. Just peel the sticker, clean it up, and then you can make, like, a two-sided tag. Hang it on a gift bag, and they can have an ornament and a gift. A gift and a tag. I saw that a lot of people have used... This one broke. I saw a lot of people have used these in DIYs because they're wood. I saw a project with the, that somebody made them into skis and I thought that was super cute and winter's coming. I might want to do that. So I did pick up two of these even though I'm only showing you one. But it is an incense holder and it's actually bamboo. It's like a real wood, bamboo wood incense holder. Like, you know, that you would buy in a real incense holder place. I mean, it has a hole on this side. And you know, you put the incense up here and you light it and then you blow it out and you know how that goes, okay? So I picked up two of those. Thank you, sweetheart. This was like new to me and 
it was really comfortable. It's like a little massager. It might be for your feet because it's not very long, but it doesn't say, it just says, rolling massager it has this one spot on this end and it has these like four rolly and they kind of have like an arch it's probably really good for your legs too but it was really nice it's not too harsh i mean i guess if you push too hard but and we picked it up in lisa's favorite color because that's for lisa oh <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. That's good. It works. So there's nothing like going to the Dollar Tree in autumn and finally finding the spring flowers you were looking for. <laughs> but I found two of the irises in the two shades of purple. Like this is really blue, but irises, like they come in two shades of purple and they have the bulbs attached. So if you guys have not seen these, if seen anybody haul them, I know I never got any before. They literally had two of these and two tulips. I probably should have just bought the tulips. Um, but I picked up the two irises. Uh, there's an iris theme in my guest room, the purple guest room, and I have a couple iris prints. I'm at, well, it's an iris and an amaryllis print. And then I have some silk irises in big pictures, and I thought that would be a cute accent over by the new chair. It's an old chair, but it's new to the room. Um, is that Halloween? I also surprisingly, so with these fingertip towels, they're gray and they say tranquil on them and they have like a really, really pretty little lotus on them. The tranquil, I mean, it looks all embroidered, but it's just a print on there and it's two, you get a set of two fingertip towels. Um, you could use them for washcloths, really, you can. Is it saying the fingertip towels? I don't know, whatever that says it is. But they're 100% cotton and I just thought that's totally her. That's totally her, here. It is. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Go with your new rug. I picked up one more pumpkin because I feel like you can never have enough pumpkins. But I'm weird. Okay, I don't know if anybody else who does DIYs at the Dollar Tree is like this, but when I see a broken something, I want to buy it because I know I'm going to pull that stem out anyway. And you know, if it's, I don't know, don't take the good one when you're going to take it apart anyway, my opinion. So I picked up just one more pumpkin. I was so excited that her Dollar Tree had the lanterns. These are the LED, you know, they have like a LED light in there, almost like a tea light sort of thing. And they have them in black and then this like shiny pewter finish, metal finish or whatever. And I picked up two in the metal finish. I have a DIY on my channel where we made a lantern garland for my forever tree or whatever. Um, okay, so I never saw anything like this before. I never seen anybody haul them and they didn't have towels to match. They just had pot holders and uh, oven mitt. And the pot holder says black cats and witches hats. Beware of flying brooms. Happy Halloween. And it's just really everything about it. It's really, there's nothing about it that I don't want to talk about. The colors, the, I mean, it does have some yellow, which normally I'm like a black, white, and orange kind of a girl. The little black and white pumpkins down here, the black hat, just this really everything. I could just let you stare at it for a while. But just, uh, it's okay. You can do it. Yeah. You, you could just stare some more. <laughs> do you notice the subtle gray and dark gray striping? I mean... Not subtle on the camera, I'll tell you the truth. Did you notice it in real life? No, you just pointed it out. On the camera, it's like, wait till you see the video, you're like, boom, <laughs> that's striped. Um, but yeah, so I picked up one oven mitt and two pot holders. <clears throat> I picked up two of these mini Mr. Boneses, and that's what they'll be right now. You know, my new, my new best friend, Sarah Jane, over at Cheek on the Cheek, she's my YouTube best friend. Um, she has a big Mr. Bones skeleton guy. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Sarah Jane. Forgot, I forgot where I was. Um, so I picked up two of these. They're actually for a DIY. You guys know I have like other skulls that I picked up and I needed to rip their heads off. So I picked up two of those. But what you can do is, and I have this for other projects, is take their bones apart and you can like throw them into like a vase or a jar. But you'll see me do that when I do my, my channel. Here's the other insert burner. I only got one of the pumpkins they have a pumpkin a black cat and a ghost and you know the last time i actually found one ghost 
But I like the jack-o'-lantern. He's super cute. I didn't care for the cat. He looks a little creepy to me. I'm a girl who likes a little creep in my life, but that cat was like, you know, <laughs> little pet cemetery. No, thanks. Um, but I picked up the little jack-o'-lantern. He's cute. He's a solar light. The lights come out of his eyes and it's really cute. I put them like on the little path where the kids go trick or treating. So these were totally something I've never seen before. And though they're totally Halloween, I got them really, I thought they'd be cute for DIYs. Let's start with the two full face masks. They're LED light up masks for ages three and up. This one is almost like the pirate type of skeleton. Now, you can't try them. I was thinking you might be able to try them. Should I just open it? What? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. So the, if you can see from the back, like the kids will see like more lights, but the eyes light up around here and they just flash and change colors. Obviously if you have a cheese a disorder, just don't. It has an elastic strap. So it's like, oh, there was my headband. One size fits all. <laughs> I'm smiling and you can't even tell. Um, oh, you gotta shut that off for me? Thank you. <laughs> Fix my hair. Sure, I just spent 20 minutes brushing my hair. No, I didn't. You know I didn't. This one is a really creepy mummy, which I think he's super cool. I really wanna see what his light eyes, cause he's, he's got black. How does it show up with the black, I wonder? Oh, oh yeah, it still lights oh, up red. cool. And thank you. And then two like girl ones. This one is a princess and it's got a crown. And don't worry, we'll edit this out. Uh, there we go. And her crown lights up too. Super cute. But here's my favorite, and they had one of these. They had a table full of those three, and I had one of these hanging on a bar by itself. It is a rainbow unicorn. Oh, oh no, he's not rainbow, she's just a unicorn. And she's gonna be like the easiest one to light up, right? Yeah. And she lights up pink and purple. She's totes adorbs. So adorable. Here, I wanna put that when I go to but I bought them to actually, I said to Lisa and to the lady at the register, I said, I think this would be great on Halloween wreaths. Um, or any wreaths, really. If you're making a rainbow unicorn wreath, put that mask on there. Um, this is yours, right? Lisa got this for her desk at work. Yeah, but I thought I bought, yeah. You bought more stuff, is that yeah. what you're asking? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, she got this for her desk at work. It is basically a jot organizer tray, yeah, um, pens, you know, paper clips, stapler, whatever, whatever. Um, and just to keep it in her drawer at her desk. And I know they're in here somewhere. Or well, at least I think they are. I saw them at the register. So they're there. Paper, two packs of paper clips, right? Yeah. It might be with the craft stuff, so. Yeah, it might be in there somewhere. All right. Well, before I get into Christmas stuff, there's one couple more Halloween things. I found this Halloween house. I didn't see this Halloween house before. These ones are super detailed. What they do is you put in one of those tea light candles in it. Not the flame one, the flameless ones. But this one is so cute. It was a haunted church and it was really the only one. I mean, the boys found it they for me. They found an end cap that had several. Okay, well then the, the Christmas ones were on the end cap. Where the haunted- The church was on there. The, the, haunt, the ha on Halloween there. one? No, oh, this, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Because he found the hall. I don't know where he got it. So. <laughs> he just randomly found it yeah. on the shelf. Yeah, so keep your eyes that. open. But I don't know if there was other sets mm -hmm. in the series is what I was getting to. But this Halloween one, see, he's got a little ghost up there. And he's got a little ghost down here. And he's like, it's a haunted cemetery. So he is super cute. And it's purple, you know, because it's and a green roof because it's Halloween. But here's what she was talking about. These are the Christmas ones. So I have the church and the bakery from last year. And this year we found a house. Ooh, that ring is between my toes and, pull <gasps> and pulling. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> no, so it's this cute little house. This is the only one that's not an actual, don't do it. 
So if you buy a couple, you could probably paint them different colors to match like, yeah. And then this is the post office. And again, these are the same where you put like a battery operated tea light up in there and it tells you don't use a flame, but the detail on these are so like, they're so well painted. Um, so this is the post office and this is the house. And like I said, last year I got the church and, um, the church and the bakery last year. Um, yes. Um, she also picked up paper clips for her work. You get 80 large. Are these jumbos, the 80? Um, and the 250 yes. are the regular. Yeah. So you get 80 jumbo or 250 regular sized paper clips. And, um, you know, unfortunately, teachers and teachers' assistants, they have to buy their own supplies. They do get, like, usually a little stipend. Not the teachers' assistants, but the teachers. I but think my school supports <laughs> Dollar Tree all by itself. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Everybody there You'd shops be surprised. Dollar Tree. Sharon's too. Sharon, yeah. that's one of Sharon's big things. So we should really do something about that. All right, enough about the teachers and all of the <laughs> soapbox stuff. These are adorable, and I did not see them before. They are round jars. They have the tea light holder in them. They have the screw on top in like a, not really oil runs, rub bronze. They're not quite that dark, but I think that's what they're intended to be, like a dark bronze. And... I picked up two of them, but I only unwrapped one because it's trying to get through this hole. But I love their round shape. Um, they're just different than everything. And I don't know if you're supposed to unscrew that because now it feels like it doesn't, oh, no. Maybe you're not supposed to unscrew that. Maybe it just feels like it's not trying to go back on. And the other two things, these have been around a while, but I never was able to find them before. And I found two in white and two in gray. And I think they're stunning. Um, it, not really too much, but a very, very subtle iridescence on the white one. Do you see that iridescence? It looked like it was yeah. in the store. Okay. And then the same one with the gray. Yeah, it's just like so it's pretty. I love their shape. I love their size. I love everything about them. They also had them in pink, but I was not interested in the pink ones. And then I do have one more Halloween thing that's holding all of the Christmas things. So I picked up one more cauldron because I'm obsessed and I can't have enough cauldrons for my party. Um, but this is a pretty big cauldron, bigger than they've had in the last few years. So speaking of my party, I might have picked up a few owls. Now this one's definitely going to be for Christmas on my Christmas tree. He's super cute with his little black and red vest on, um, or chest or whatever. And he's got great detail, his eyes, his branches. And I will tell you, it was a real pleasure to have Emily there because she like nitpicked through all of them and picked out the best <laughs> ones, which is so awesome. Um, this one I absolutely love. It is, um, got burlap all his whole back is burlap and his whole front is this fur. And again, she picked out the best one. He's got burlap eyes and he's got his cute little branches. He sits on and his cute little pine cones in the top of his head. And then the very, very last one we got, he is, um, got a burlap stomach and he's all fur. He's kind of sitting sideways and his little beak and his burlap eyes. And again, more pine cones. I don't know if the pine cones are supposed to be like just pine cones on his head or like his antenna. Like birds have like feather ears or whatever. So I wasn't sure. Um, because they're, are these supposed to be pine cone feed or just decoration? I don't know. But they're really cute either way. Okay, another beautiful ornaments that I didn't see before and I picked up two were these um so they're deer that we've seen before but this deer is a lot more finely detailed than the other deer i feel like the other deer, deer always had like the seam down the middle that you can really see these ones are so well made they have a wreath around their neck with little berries but this wooden branch system thing that's happening back here in the brown glitter is Next level Dollar Tree, awesome, awesome job. I was happy to find these and I picked up two of each. So they are the ornaments, ornaments? They're the wooden shaped ornaments, ornaments. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. They're ornaments, but they're shaped like wooden, I don't know. Anyway, they have the metal tops and this one looks like Santa Claus with the belt and the buckle in gold, and it's got real buttons on it. It says ho, 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 but what you can't really pick up is the belt is velvet, and this is burlap, and they are adorable. And of course, you can always 
rip this off, glue it on the back and do whatever you want to if you're gonna DIY it. And these ones are like the elf one. So it's green, again, velvet belt. And it's got like a little like elf kind of collar on it. And these ones say Merry Christmas and I picked up two of those. And Lisa didn't see these, but these are really one for me and one for her. Um, oh my God, me! <laughs> and of course, Emily picked out the best ones. She was like, this one is the best paint job. <laughs> this one doesn't have too much glitter, um, but they are campers, like the little uh, vintage campers. And they're so cute, I can't even tell you. And you get two for a dollar. Now again, if you don't like the ornaments for your tree or you don't have a mini tree, Packages, if you have a friend who loves these, stick them on their gift package. For 50 cents, it's cheaper than ribbon. Um, so that is that. And that, my friends, is everything that is not crafts from this DIY haul. Stay tuned for tomorrow because it's coming right next. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go ahead and start shooting all of the crafters corner stuff that we found. If you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in seeing all that we got at the Dollar Tree. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And stay tuned for part two. We'll see you in the next one. As always, take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.